Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So you are probably wondering how I managed to have weekly cheat days and not gain weight. As a matter of fact, I've actually been steadily losing weight since the beginning of January 2019. This was me at the beginning of January in 2019 at my heaviest weight and this <laughs> This footage that I'm about to show you is actually this morning. I've had cheat days for the past four months or so. So today I'm gonna to share with you some strategies I used so that I do not gain weight. Four sample days of what I eat in a day. Um, I'm gonna show you how my workouts are those four days. I'm literally gonna tell you the things that I live by or try to live by that help me keep my weight down. I don't wanna get fat. I like eating junk food once in a while and I think that's okay. I want my donut mug. So, that being said, none of these rules are cut and dry. They're all things that I try to do every day, but if I don't do them, it's not the end of the world. I'll just try again tomorrow. I'm gonna go out and live my life. So, the very first thing that I do to manage my weight, I work out a ton. A ton. For most people, this is not a feasible amount of time to work out or fit into their schedule. I'm addicted to the gym. I know that. I'm addicted. I'm very addicted. Not addicted to the point where like I obsess if I don't go to the gym because there are days when I don't go for like two or three days. I get busy. I'd rather sleep sometimes than go to the gym. But I do work out every day if I can. Try to hit my glutes three days a week. I'll hit shoulders about two days a week and then I'll do back or chest one or two days a week. I want to ramble right now. Holy moly. Okay. Anyways, I try to train seven days a week, honestly, and I also do cardio. I like to do low intense steady state cardio on the treadmill. I do, on average, probably 60 minutes a day, sometimes more, sometimes less. Sometimes I'm not motivated and I'll only do like 30 minutes. Sometimes I'm watching a good show on Netflix or watching a good YouTube and I will, you know, just go an extra 30 minutes. So it's give or take. Some days I don't do any gym at all. The second important thing I do is I fast. I try to fast at least 12 hours a day. Most days I fast until about four after I'm done the gym. That's when I usually eat, which is about like four or five whenever I get home. If I can, I try to fast longer. Sometimes I'll fast for 24 to 48 hours. That helps me to get into ketosis, which I believe is very metabolically met very good for metabolically burning fat versus muscle. In a fasted state, that's when I like to do a lot of cardio because I know that I'm burning body fat as fuel versus glucose, so that's a whole other story. The second important thing I do is I fast as long as I possibly can, and I do cardio when I fast as long as I possibly can, especially when I'm fasted longer. The third thing I do to keep my weight down is I try to stick to a one meal a day approach. For me, this is easy. I don't like getting up and making breakfast. I like to go to the gym right away. I don't like thinking about breakfast because then I'm like, oh God, I gotta wake up 30 minutes earlier so I can make breakfast before I go and do whatever. I find eating more often is just such a hassle and such a time waster, honestly. So I don't eat breakfast, I don't eat lunch. Again, like this is not a cut and dry rule. If somebody asks me if I wanna go for breakfast and I wanna go, I'm going. I love pancakes. Like, of course I'm gonna go out for breakfast with you. For the most part, I'd say like five or six days a week, I don't eat breakfast or lunch. I will only eat at like 5 p.m. before I go to my night shift. Or, and in cases where I eat uh, multiple meals a day, I just try to make sure they're healthy. Um, if, if I can, sometimes, you know what, I just want wine and pasta. What are you gonna do? Because I eat OMAD, one meal a day is called OMAD. For the most part, I don't really have to think about calories. I don't count calories. I uh, I feel like I don't have to. When I'm only eating one meal a day, it's just intuitive. And when it's healthy, it's probably gonna be a thousand calories or less, which is not a lot. But you know what? If I'm hungry, I'll eat more, but I'm not. So, <laughs> and this works for me very well. I can do like a whole video on fasting 
and my one meal a day, but you know what? This is just what I do to lose weight. I think that covers everything. So those are the top three things I do to lose weight. Again, they're not cut and dry. It's just what I do most of the time. And yeah, if I didn't do cheat meals, I would lose weight faster. Do I care? No, because they make me happy. Um, I actually love my body right now, so if I wanted to lose weight faster, I could stop doing cheat meals, but that would uh, that would make me kind of miserable, so I'm not going to do that. So, I'm going to now take you through four sample days of what I eat and, um, and my workouts. Some of my workouts weren't really filmed, so I'll just kind of talk you through them. If you want to see a glute workout from me, stay tuned till the very end. But I tried to film myself, so it's pretty shitty, and yeah. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take you through and talk you through some of my workouts and meals that I had um, this week. So this day I just did a very basic um, arm workout. We probably didn't feel like doing anything too crazy. So we just did some biceps and triceps and it was a very simple upper body workout. You'll see in the next clip that I still have quite a bit of belly fat. That's because this was filmed right after my 10K cheat day. So a lot of water retention. I also did 60 minutes of cardio, but for some reason my camera did not record it. So this day for meals, I had some tofu that I baked and I also had some fettuccine alfredo that was left over and I really needed to use um, I think it was from um, Eastside Mario's so I just microwaved that up and served it with the baked tofu and then I also have some beets that I can so I also put some of those in and that was my one meal for that day So I didn't record my leg exercises for this particular day because the gym was packed and I really only did two exercises. I ended up doing a simple single legged, single legged, <laughs> so single leg lunges on the Smith machine and then I also did single leg hamstring curls. And then I hopped on the treadmill for 60 minutes. Uh, this treadmill was broken though, so I ended up only being on here for five minutes and then switching to another one because the incline didn't work, so yeah. <laughs> so I just got back from the gym. I'm going to do some work on the computer and I am having my first meal, which is this sweet potato with some hummus. I have a big dollop of salsa, some leftover pad thai, vegetable pad thai, and some kimchi. Kimchi kimchi. So yeah, I'm just gonna eat that. Okay, it's been like five minutes since I finished my last meal, but I wanted something sweet. So I'm having like one of the healthiest desserts <laughs> that there is, which is this oatmeal. I put some PB2 on top, which is pow powdered peanut butter. Basically, it's just a quarter, uh, three quarters cups of oat, dried oatmeal, a little bit of almond milk, I mean cashew milk, a crap ton of cinnamon, some liquid calorie-free sweetener, and then that PB2. And then I also have this little orange. So that should be my sweet tooth covered for a little while. For my last meal of the day, still doing computer work. It's gonna be super freaking boring as usual. I microwaved some of my leftovers. So I have some rice, I put some soy sauce on it, and then I have some salsa, another sweet potato with my hummus, and then some marinated tofu, and then some sriracha. Uh, yeah, and I'm gonna finish doing some editing and some computer work for heading home. So this day at the gym, I just did a little bit of a back workout, which I didn't get to record. And then I just hopped on the treadmill for my 60 minutes of incline. And that was it. That's all. So this day, I forgot to film what I ate, but it was, uh, my friend came over and we were canning some goods. So I ate this, these Tostitos and salsa, and I had half a bottle of wine. I'm not perfect. I'm close, but I'm not perfect. So that is what I ate this day. Okay. 
So get ready for some really bad video footage. I was just putting my phone wherever I could find a good spot. The gym was packed, so I didn't want to disturb anybody. But I'm gonna take you through my leg day, which is basically glutes and hamstrings exclusively. So I always do the abductor machine. This focuses on the upper part of your glutes, right where your uh, lower back meets your booty. So I always do about 100 reps total, I'll do four or five sets of 20 to 25 and fairly heavy. Then we move on to these single leg hip thrusts and lately I've been doing these off the ground. Sometimes I'll use the Smith machine, but I have really been enjoying them off the ground, just doing them really, really slow and controlled and I pause at the top and hold for a little bit of a second and feel my glute contract. Um, these are wonderful. I've been doing them about every other glute day. So I highly recommend adding these into your leg day. And then we move on. We're doing single legged Romanian deadlifts. These are amazing for your hamstring tie-in. So right where your hamstring meets your glutes, there's some muscles there that are called your hamstring tie-in. Um, this helps accentuate that area so you have a nice pop in hamstring. Um, I like to go very slow and controlled on the way down and then pretty quick on the way up. So I always count to three, two, one, and then quick up. Three, two, one, quick up. And this is actually quite difficult to do, so I like to do it nice and slow so you can feel all of the muscles engaging. And my last set of the day, I did some curtsy lunges. I like to do these. Lately, I've been doing these with plates. Sometimes I'll do them with a barbell or with the Smith machine. So this is a staple for your outer glutes. Um, so this gets your um, the side glute very well. And then of course I finished off with 60 minutes on the treadmill. You can see I'm approaching 60 minutes here. My incline 13, speed 3.7. That's usually what I go. And yeah, that was my workout for the day. And on this day, I had a salad for my one meal a day and I also finished off with a cantaloupe. So I cut up some, I actually like this shredded lettuce that I can only find at Walmart, but it actually goes really well in salads and I find it very easy to eat. So um, I used that lettuce, I cut up a tomato and I had some pickled peppers that I like to put on and some pickled red onions that go very well and complement the salad. Also, I had some chickpeas and then I had some dressing which I mixed tahini with equal parts water and some lemon juice in and I go until I get this really nice creamy consistency and I just drizzle that all over. So that is my salad and then I finish off the day with a cantaloupe for dessert and that was what I ate this day. So thank you guys very, very much for watching. I hope that you guys got more of an insight of what I eat on a regular day. If you have any questions, let me know and I will try to answer them below in the comment section. Or if you want to see a specific, another video on anything more specific, just comment down below and I will do my best to make that happen. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next video.